Um, this is a combination of some things that we've uh, seen and learned on YouTube. Um, I guess everybody recognizes this right off the bat as a rocket stove. We've got a few modifications to it that I'm kind of going to go over what we've done here. Um, it's built out of cob and we, uh, we have sculpted a face on the front of it. Uh, there is a small fan, that's a 5 watt fan that is plugged in to AC there, which is a draft inducer, which <clears throat> we plan on uh, getting it off of our battery here. But this particular rocket stove has a, a thermal uh, electric generator on top of it, as well as a, a TEG, uh, thermal electric generator fan, uh, some Peltier fans sometimes described as. Um, that is a 30 watt generator, if you will. Um, I think there's six plates in there. Maybe you can see them in there hooked onto a bar. We have them painted black just so they'll uh, blend into the drum there a little bit. This is in a garage and this is just being done as test uh, and learning and uh, proof of concept, really. But it's plumbed over. Everybody knows that. Uh, it's a water jacket to keep the uh, cold side cold and everybody runs them to a radiator. We've seen them guys run to a radiator, heat sinks and and different ideas to cool that. <clears throat> we happen to also see a waterfall on uh, YouTube and we thought, hey, wonder if we can uh, use a waterfall as a heat exchanger because we're going to be running a pump to run this plumbing anyway. So we uh, built this waterfall and really pretty cheap to do it less than a hundred dollars in that waterfall and parts probably and we got a small fa uh, motor fish pump mo that we're running off of ac right now which again can be run off of this but this is only a 30 watt charger and right now we only have a uh, car battery there so we're not trying to to uh, drain it too much but uh, you can see we got a charge controller now the, the uh, Thermal electric is the only thing that's hooked to this presently, so the uh, thermal electric is the only thing that's charging. You see the light is on and it's charging, trying to push this battery up to 14 volts, and we have a 500 watt inverter on it. And we also have a, a straight DC 7 watt fluorescent bulb. And uh, of course, the uh, Generator runs enough electricity or runs enough juice to uh, keep the bulb running and still trickle charge the battery at the same time at seven watts and uh, also the uh, inverter will come on but And it the battery is really maintaining pretty good right there That's about maximum output for this small system to where anything below over that load right there is starting to drain on the battery but the, that right there is pretty much what it will generate. Now <clears throat> a little bit bigger one and of course we would be running our pump off of our uh, waterfall with it and as well as the draft inducer here off of it. So there, there's some changes left to be done and of course all of this equipment here uh, should be in a cabinet underneath the waterfall and the light should be up on top of the waterfall shining down the waterfall so we hope to keep modif modifying and uh, improving this. I'll try to back out and get a wider shot at this. So you can see that we... There's the rocket stove. And the batteries doesn't get too hot there. We, we shoot temperatures, check temperatures on this all the time. The water temperature. There's about oh, 10, 15 gallons of water in that waterfall. You can see some of the decorative stuff we was doing there. We did that decorative stuff because we was doing cob and we just wanted to see what we could do with it and <clears throat> how it worked. Um, we put a copper tube in there as a, as a trim there. And there's a little bit of more of a decorative work. There's a butterfly and a uh, <laughs> flower down on that end. <clears throat> That's tile on top. That's a clean out right there. Um, there has been some condensation. In, um, Interesting uh, point is it took that thing probably two years. No, two years. That's an overstatement. It took it a year. It took it a year to dry out. But, uh, so condensate come out of that for about a year until that thing got dry. Uh, it's been burning for some time. Uh, 
nothing in there. You can see it's still black where it had some in there. Uh, the performance on the stove has been good. It's in a thousand square foot garage and uh, it pretty much it keeps it, it does what it's supposed to. It holds the heat very well and uh, the waterfall actually puts some humidity back in the air that the wood stove takes out. And I don't know if you guys can hear the trickle of it, but it sounds nice too. So I don't know, maybe it's an original idea. I haven't seen anybody use a waterfall as a heat exchanger for thermal electrics. But I realize now that I can use a waterfall and have a base cabinet with AC power in it and just hook the waterfall to this wood stove and make a pretty nice unit. <clears throat> just need to tidy this up a bit. Okay, thanks for watching.